course to my amazing people my name is Ed Godiambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya in the political arena of Kenya few figures have captured the spotlight as intensely as honorable Peter Selassie the member of parliament for Mumias East constituency a rising star in the Kenyan political scene Selassie has made waves recently for outspoken stance on the ODM party and its leaders Raila Odinga his harsh remarks calling out Raila as nobody in Kenyan politics and criticizing the ODM party for relying on what called Vitenda Willi has ignited a political storm. So guys, uh, this is Oreo Peter Salasia, the member of parliament of Mumia's constituents. Uh, I want to say this. I know we have started doing an education, civic education, to tell our people from Western Kenya who is Raila Amor Odinga. And uh, after starting that conversation, I've seen he has called his members, or ODM, because I know he's threatening them by using the committees, because your simple, they have to tow the line. So I want to tell our people from Western, don't be worried. Those members of parliament who are going to see him or are trying to have a meeting, it's only that uh, if they don't tow the line, uh, through their mechanism, they will remove them from their chairman, being chairman of the committees and all that. But with these outspokenness has come with a heavy price. After making his controversial statement, Honorable Peter Selassie has found himself under an increasing threat. Reports suggest that his life is now in danger. He has even reportedly at, had been attacked while giving a speech at a public gathering. A shocking development that arises serious questions about the state of free speech, political expressions in Kenyans today. The remarks of Honorable Peter Selassie about Raila Odinga and the ODM party were nothing short of inflammatory. During a public speech, Selassie voiced the frustrations of Kenyans, particularly from the Western region, who feel sidelined by the ODM's political strategy. He boldly declared that the Kenyans are tired of it and a will, a reference of Raila's penchant for making ambiguous political statement, and promised that often lack clarity or actionable solutions. Salasia's direct criticism of Raila, a political figure with a decade of influence in the Kenyan politics, went a step further. He called Raila a nobody in the Kenyan politics, a remark that many took as a personal attack on the ODM leader. This understandably did not sit well with Raila's supporters and ODM loyalists who are now for their fiance devotion uh, to their leaders. For, one, for some, Celestia's comments were not just criticism. Uh, they were seen as an existential threat to Raila's legacy and to the ODM party's political dominance. I love Mimi, 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 mimi si jashiku, muna tishia mimi, adu muna sema, adu mimi na chesa, adu muna kompia, hii, mimi generation yangu ya genzi. Generation yangu ya genzi, genzi kitu ya tunangopa tunu kuwa peke yaki. Hakuna kitu kini tunangopanga. Sasa mimi nataka nuambia kwamba, waite, lakini sasa tunaenda mchakato kuenda kwa ground, wambia watu. Mambo yeo, wewe wezi, wezi ambia watu, sisi wa Kenya wataki kuhuza mambo ya dani. Una support ya dani, unaenda kuitisha wambia unapanga pale lae. Ati wa, watu watu wa walua waone ati mkona wewe Hakuna mtu wakona wewe raila mina kuambia Alafu kitu yegina bili Ati nataka CDF Unataka kera Ati tolewe kwa constituency level Yende kwa, kwa ma governors wenye unakula nao Ati lafu niku support Mini mweta zimu Mimi juzi Gari yangu ili pigo hapa na irobi Kwa sababu ya msafa Alafu na sema CDF yondolewe Kera itoke eh, Vezi umeuza teke drago kwa dani Muna chaza na, na sisi Ati wana, watu wana gogopa, ati wana gogopa. Wewe kwa ni hakuna mungu peka yake na Yesu Kristo. Eh, hey, tumesema. Uh, shortly after his remark, Honorable Peter Salasia was attacked while uh, speaking at a public event as, uh, as an assault that many sees as an indication of growing risk faced by those who uh, dares to challenge the established political figures in, Ken in Kenya. The details surrounding the attack remains uh, murky but the incident has escalated fear for Salasia's safety. The question on many Kenyans' mind is whether speaking out against Raila Odinga will come at a too high cost. 
The attack on Peter Selassie is just the latest in series of events that suggested a pattern of intimidation against politicians who go against the ODM party. In the past, similar confrontations have been witnessed in Kenyan politics, where individuals who have criticized Israel or his party have faced severe backlash. As the 2027 general elections approach, the biggest question remains whether Peter Salasia will manage to retain his parliamentary seat. Politics in Kenya is notoriously volatile, and the power of political endorsement cannot be underestimated. Raila Odinga, despite his advanced age, still wields a significant influence in Kenyan politics, and his party has long history of mobilizing voters, particularly in the Western Kenya. Honorable Salasia's brave stand against the ODM party and its leaders raises critical questions about Kenya's political climate and the freedom of expression and political choice. His critics argues that his harsh words against Israel and ODM are signs of maturity and disrespect. But his supporters view him as the voice of the people who are tired of empty political promises. In either case, Salasia has sparked wide debate about the need of new political leadership in Kenya, a leadership that is transparent, accountable, and focuses on the needs of the people. However, as the 2027 elections loom, many are skeptical of Salasia's chances. In Kenyan politics, loyalty to powerful leaders like Raila Odinga often trumps individuals' merit, and any politicians who publicly oppose such figures risk political exiles. Despite the threats and attack he has faced, Salasia's future will likely depend on his ability to navigate the treacherous waters of the Kenyan politi uh, politics and find a way to maintain support from his constituency while challenging the entrenched political elites. In the end, only time will tell if Peter Selassie's bold stance will make him a political martyr or if he will find a way to leverage his newfound notoriety into lasting political career. For now, one thing is certain. A Kenyan politics is anything but predictable. I was your favorite host, Edgo Diambo, and make sure you subscribe for this amazing YouTube channel for more updates. Bye-bye, and let's meet on our next video.